Okay, first and foremost, yesterday's Doctor Who was so good. Um, I can't. I did art when I was at college, and I've always been into all that crap. Um, so I knew a little bit anyway about the subject. Uh, but it was just so well written and completely not about space aliens, even though it had a space alien in it. The space alien was almost incidental just to complete the actual plot. It was just really, really good. And if, you're, um, if you don't like Doctor Who, or rather you don't like Doctor Who because you're not fond of Daleks and Tardises and Cybermen and stuff like that, then just, I would, I would wholeheartedly advise you to just switch your brain off for a, an hour, go on BBC iPlayer and watch just last night's one. It was really, really, really good. I didn't do a Saturday vlog again. I'm doing a Sunday vlog. Does it matter? Not really, I don't think so. Kids won another game yesterday. It was at 4-13-1. Uh, the goalie for the other team cried and went off and they had to call a timeout. Uh, there are... There are some amongst the hockey community that don't believe in absolutely smashing the granny out of the other team because it's not good for the league. And I completely understand this, I really do. I completely get the fact that if you go around just absolutely beating the living daylights out of all the other teams that you face, at some point those teams aren't just aren't going to want to play anymore. Even though, to be fair, when I was a kid, uh, the only season that we ever won was the season that I only played five or six games in and then left because I had to go and get a job to support myself. Jobs are overrated anyway. Uh, but I got beat all the time when I was a kid and I still play now um, when I'm not a kid. So I think if you're between the ages of 7 and 14 and you get beat an awful lot, it means you need to skate a little bit harder. So yes, uh, my little munchkins went and annihilated the other team and hopefully uh, they're going to do it again this afternoon as well because we're going to go up to Oakland Sports Centre and um, repeat the disgusting trouncing of another fledgling side. Um, which is probably isn't the ethic, but <clears throat> bearing in mind I never had very much victory when I was younger. I am reliving the good old days vicariously through the uh, little sprogs that I go and shout at every Saturday. <laughs> the G1 Optimus video I was tipsy for. That's all I can say. Um, I don't know, uh, just everything's sort of lifted a bit lately and I think after being quite a long period of time where everything was fairly... D I just don't think I'm going to afford to get to auto assembly and I've stopped being miserable about it now because life costs X amount of money a month and as we stand right now that X amount of money doesn't leave an awful lot left over at the end of every month and it will do shortly but not for <clears throat> a little while. Um, so I've, I'm not going to sit and be miserable about that anymore. I'm, it just means I can... I'm just, I'm just waiting for Barricade to arrive next week. C would kind of like to give a bit of a shout out to King Grimlock, who, unbeknownst to me, he does the Kapow Toys reviews, which is great, and frankly... Uh, Grimmy doesn't do much in the way of reviews. His channel's not exactly stuffed full of views, and he's not. Uh, how can I say this without being detrimental to what he does? Uh, or uh, he's not. I think he even he, Grimmy King Grimlock would agree that he's not the biggest reviewer of the toys. So he must just have a really good relationship with the people at Kapow. However, I don't think they could have found much of a better person to actually. Uh, do the Kapow Toys videos with because the blokes are damn nice and I didn't realise it wasn't really anything to do with the, the ordering side from Kapow or anything like that because he did the, the YouTube videos I assumed that it was his little brainchild or or he was somewhat closer as more closely associated to it 
But no, they just send him toys and say, can you do a review on this? And say it's going to be in soon and um, put your money down now. Uh, but I sent him a couple of messages on Moonbase 2. I'll type the Moonbase 2 massive. Um, and he thought he's just, his responses have been uh, prompt when they didn't need to be because a lot of them are during work hours. Um, which probably means he's got an iPhone and just sits staring at that all day, much like I stare at Facebook on mine. Um, but Moonbase 2 is one of the only sites I can get on from work, which is quite lucky. Um, but yeah, he's been utterly, utterly cool. And I asked him some questions, and in the end he just said, look, you do realise I don't work for Kapow Toys. And I'm like, oh, really? Well, why have you been doing all this? And he said, well, just because you asked. And that's pretty much the most amazing reason that you would need. So that's pretty much it for a weekend vlog. I might be a mate, oh, gonna go and check those this afternoon. Who knows, I might not have to go to work tomorrow. Uh, Grimlock sat next to me, which is nice. Uh, I haven't had a new toy to play with in ages, which is kind of driving me slightly crackers. However, I have been nosing around and there's not an awful lot about the only thing that Oh, the only thing that kind of tweaks my attention even remotely at the moment is that there's a Henke Galvatron in um, Forbidden Planet. Now, the, the Galvatron universe figure isn't fantastic. It's okay, but it's not fantastic. And the Henke one is only the Henke one because the weapons and the gun turret are chrome, whereas they're not on the standard version. But... Unless Chrome is for... I don't like Chrome for Chrome's sake. I only want Chrome on a toy. The paint is great. The paint's better, which is fantastic. The joints are often slightly stiffer because the paint is better, and that makes sense. But painting the entire gun turret Chrome just to go, we're Henke and we can do it. I don't really think it's necessary, is it? Uh... So there we go. If I win the lottery this weekend, I will be pre-ordering a uh, a leader Starscream. Although, let's face it, in the long run, I've got pretty much all the other leader figures. And uh, I will get leader Starscream at some point. Um, I'm also debating heavily whether to buy Mudflap. I've talked an awful lot about Transformers in this, and I don't normally talk about Transformers in my vlogs. Um, I was very tired at hockey yesterday. I think... I think the diet thing is going really well. I have not spoken about the diet. Okay, diet uh, started out 14-2 a couple of weeks ago. Then on the subsequent Monday, I was 13-12 and a half. Then last Tuesday, I was 13-9. Um, so I'm hoping for 13-7 tomorrow. Um, uh, I haven't been having sugar in my tea, I haven't touched cheese now for a month, um, I have just, just generally been a good boy. However, um, I'm a sh I, I, I can only put it down to this, but I have had the shits mercilessly for two weeks. Just random bouts of, really need to go to the toilet now, and having a liquid piss. Uh, shit. Um, I know that's not the best thing to talk to you about on a vlog, however, if anyone else is being on a diet, and then suddenly realise that their body starts to HATE THEM COMPLETELY after two weeks or so. Does it settle down or am I forever going to be taunted by um, uh, sporadic and spontaneous bowel movements? Um, I watched The Dark Knight yesterday as well. If you've not seen it, why not? But watch Batman Begins first because it'll all start to make slightly more sense. Uh, I know I lent Batman Begins the Deviant and he just didn't really get it. Um, Princess Fiona liked it, but the Deviant didn't. Uh, and I think it's because he didn't see Batman Begins. He just doesn't do sci-fi really, it's not really his cup of tea. I have lent him Avatar, which he's had for two weeks and not got back. And Deviant, get me the fucking shelves out of your loft. Turn me off now. No, don't turn me off now. Please rate. And if you're not the Deviant, subscribe. Is it up there now? Yeah, subscribe. Leave a comment down there. I don't normally do the black thing. I'm, I'm, 
I'm on 95 subscribers and while I'm, I am a YouTube whore and I'm really trying not to be all about the figures and how many people have watched this, that and the other, but 100 before August would just be great. Um, Dean, turn it off. Go upstairs, get the bloody shelves now. I've only been asking for three weeks. I think that's quite enough. Sort your life out. Uh, SMS number one saying, I don't know what to have for breakfast that's not too fattening. Shreddies. Weetabix. Weetabix on toast. No. Why would I do that? Weetabix with milk. Fuck off.